Good evening, everybody. Joe Patty here, and welcome to the art table. And tonight, I'm just making a couple of coasters, a couple of different kind of coasters. I'm not using resin tonight, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to get a granite look. I'm with my daughter, and we were shopping at Best Buy, and I have to show you this. I came across this looking at wireless speakers, and I've seen this. Nose Frida. See that? I'm like, what the hell is that? I turn it over and it says, it's a snot sucker. Stuffy nose. It's smart. It's Swedish. It's maybe a little strange. It's the doctor invented nasal <laughs> aspirator that actually works. So I guess you can just suck the snot right out of your baby. Isn't that disgusting? <laughs> Hi everybody. I just thought I'd show you that. I think I'm in the wrong section here. And also, <laughs> I'm gonna do the edges with my gold leaf pen. Let's get started, everybody. First, I'm gonna put my gold on this little, well, I have one on there already. Maybe I should get a new one. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, I have my alcohol ink applicator. Let me show what it looks like. And it comes with a couple of felt tips. I don't like using it a lot. If you overuse it, the fuzzies start getting loose all over and you can see it in your artwork. So I really don't like that. So you got to not overuse it. You got to know when to quit. <laughs> I don't like all these fuzzy things in there. But the applicator is nice to have. If for a different look, you know, that you might be going for. Okay, so I got a clean applicator tip on here. And I'm going to start off with my gold. And I put a couple, I shook this up really good. And I'm going to put a couple drops of gold on here. Actually, it feels like it's stuff in there. Trying to shake it up a little bit more, huh? That's what that looks like there. I'm going to put a little alcohol on there, a little rubbing alcohol. I'm going to dab my gold on here. The best thing, too, is to use your lighter colors first. That way you have more dimension. And in this case, my gold is actually my lightest color, besides the white that's in the background. And you're going to take this and you're just going to keep dabbing it. And uh, you got to realize if you're doing the granite here like this, let me move that out of the way. And if you're using, uh, making a granite look, you can uh, leave dots like that. If that. You don't have to, sometimes I swirl it like that if it's too much in one spot, but that's okay. I just want to get this on there. I still got my purple on there now. <laughs> that's okay. And you dab away, dab away, dab away. Now these tiles I got at the hardware store for 49 cents and sometimes I can get them for a quarter. It just depends on whatever sale they're running or whatever they want to sell them to me for. So I'm going to dab that on there like that, like so. And I'm going to put my black ink on here now. Got some black ink on there. See? And then I'm going to put that on here. Like I said, I guess I don't need to worry too much about the size because I'm going to do my gold leaf pen on the sides. So you keep dabbing it like this and you get these tiny little markings like that. It's almost like ink cells. <laughs> I don't want to go over too much because the black can be overbearing. I'm going to add a little white, shake my white up. And I'm going to blend that in right here. And put a little a couple of drops of alcohol on there. And I'm going to blend that right in there. This would be nice to uh, have a gray one, like black and gray granite, or make one with slate. And see, I can see some of my little fuzzies in there, which is fine, because if you run under cold water when it's completely dry, a lot of the fuzzies will come off. 
I'm not worried about the fuzzies because it gives it a nice dimensional look when I'm using metallics. And when you put your top coat on, it won't look like fuzzies. <laughs> I'm liking that look what I've got so far. I really don't want to overwork that. I really like that. It's really pretty. I think I'm going to leave that as it is. And I'm going to take this off because it's really fuzzy and throw it away. All right, I'm going to set that over here and let that dry. And I'm going to show you another one. So I'll give you a little close up if you can see that. Let me come around. <laughs> my camera's on the other side everybody okay let's see here we go a lot of the gold is really shining that's really pretty I don't know if I can get the light quite right can you see that there guys it's really pretty nice little granite look to it and once this is dry if I don't like the look I can add a little more alcohol on it and put another layer on of either black or white and really get a lot of that granite looking dots in there. Okay, next up. Here we go. This is the one I was playing around with before. And I'm going to do some granite style looking blues and greens. I really like that combination. So, so pretty. So since I'm going to be doing that, I'm going to go ahead and put the lids on these other ones here. And put them away. I won't be using my black. I won't be using the gold. Let me just put these lids on, everybody. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to be using my forest green and my Baja blue. Uh, pinata inks and the forest green you really 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 got to shake up that forest green otherwise it looks blue because uh, I don't know if you've seen that in another video of mine I don't even know if I posted that video just yet but it will be blue if you really got to shake that up okay now I'm going to start off by putting some of the green on here I'm going to dot it on my tile. And I have no alcohol on the tile. It was just wiped clean. It's just tile. A lot of times, too, what I've done in the past is like, I'll do a little swipe just so I can have a lot of the color in the background that's uh, not so much white would show through. more of that green on there love that that green is just so awesome you guys so pretty 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 lots of my little little cells a little more green on there. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Look at that effect. All right, now I'm going to add a little blue. That is really, really emeraldy and so, so pretty, you guys. But I do want to add another color. I like the little dimension on there. All right, here we go, everybody. Here's the blue. And I want to go hog wild because I want the green to show through. Isn't that pretty, you guys? So pretty. 
And if you keep dabbing like this, you will get really, really tiny, tiny little marks. Now, I want to show you something. I don't have a spray bottle with, uh, um, I don't have a spray bottle with rubbing alcohol in it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my fingertips and I'm going to splash it on there like that. Isn't that pretty? Now you could take a straw and move it around. See, you could do all kinds of fun stuff. But that's not what I want to do today. That's not the look I'm going for. I want to just dab this on here and get the tiny little dots on there, like the granite look. And I might even leave a couple of the big circles on there. I'm going to add a little bit more blue and call it a day. So I don't want to overdo it. more blue. You can see I need a little more. I think I put that alcohol on. I squirted a little bit too much on there. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Look at that. the blue I want. I don't have enough blue. Let's just drop it on there like that. A little bit of alcohol. One drop. Pretty pretty. Brighten it up a little bit. It's too dark in some spots. It's so dark I, I don't like it. So, when you don't like something, here's what you do. Pour the alcohol on there. And you wipe. I almost feel like I, I don't like to waste the ink, but if you're not truly happy with something, you got to just do this. I got way too many little fuzzies in there from the felt. So, I want to get that off there because it makes it look too black. I can leave some of that green on there. Matter of fact, I'll blend a little more in there. All right, guys, sorry about that, but I just, I felt I wasn't gonna be happy with it. I just felt that, so it's too dark. It's not quite what I was looking for, okay. Now, start over, put a little more green on top of that green. See all those tiny little cells like? Gives it that granite look. So pretty, y'all. Very, very pretty. All right. I need to know when to stop because the more I dab, I'm actually pulling the ink up off and smashing it down in other areas as well. And I don't want to do that. I'm happy with the look the way it is now. And I'm going to leave it. And we're going to let that dry. And I'm going to show you a couple other techniques. 
All right, everyone, now I'm gonna make one that's kind of like pinky purple and then put a black stamp on it. Kind of like a little rock and roll one. Now I'm all out of the felt. I probably have some somewhere. Matter of fact, I know I do. I just don't have time to dig it out, but I wanna try something different. I got some of this natural sponge that I actually got in the makeup and bath department at Walmart. And I'm gonna rip a piece off of here like this. And I'm gonna use that to do my dobbing. I cut that in half. I'm gonna shake up my magenta, my Pinata Senorita magenta, and my Passion Purple. Passion Purple is probably pretty dark. And I kinda of want the lighter to be on top more. So this time I'm gonna put the dark on the bottom. Now, before I go any further, <laughs> Let's add the magenta. Keep that light. Keep in mind, everybody, if you don't like what you see, wash it off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. You can also make some designs with it. See here, go like this. Isn't that pretty, everybody? So, so pretty. like the dark now it's too dark because what I want to do on top is going to be black so I'm gonna dab that through there we can have that look another time get stuff on there put a little more of my magenta on the sponge get it over here a little bit more a little more pinky. A little more purple. And now at this point, I feel like I'm going to start overworking it, so I need to slow down on the dark purple. It's so pretty, but what I want to do is black. So I do want to keep that lighter over there. I'm going to add a little rubbing alcohol to kind of blend that together. Lighten it up. I could have used my straw and blown it around too. There's lots of stuff. The possibilities are endless, everybody. I'm just playing around till I get the design I'm looking for. I think it's good everybody. I'm gonna let that dry dry then I'll do the gold leafing around the edges and I'll show you that in a minute. That's good that's dry enough I can do my sides here. I take my gold marker my gold leaf marker 
I'm going to do the sides like that. If I keep this on camera, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to go out for now, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I want to tell you what I did. I took a dry paper towel and did some scratch marks on here because I wanted to do like this rock and roll looking music heart. And I did take my gold leaf pen and went and did the edges. I'll show you that in a minute. So I got my black ink out here and I got this stamp. I put this rubber stamp on here like that and put the rubber stamp on like this, see? And then I dip it in the ink, and I'm hoping to put a rock and roll a little heart on here. It's got little music notes on there. Let's see, I'm not getting a lot of black ink on it, so I want to make sure I get it on there really good. My ink might be drying out. There we go. I'm starting to get some on there. There we go. All right, now, make sure I get all that on there. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm going to see if I can get that on here. It doesn't come out too clear, does it? It's like slippery because the tile was slippery and it's kind of meant for paper. <laughs> well, not so didn't turn out so nice, did it? Didn't turn out too bad, but it's meant for a non-slippery surface, so the ink can kind of soak up in there. So now that I know that, it's still a nice low coaster. I'll do the touch-ups and turn out not too bad. Here's the gold edges. I'll show you what I did. So I took my gold leaf pen and just kind of did something like that. And I ran it around the edges. Turned out nice, everybody. Adds a nice low touch. Like I said before, the devil's in the details, everybody. Not quite done with it, but it's okay. It's rough and rugged. I like it. I am going to take my black fine tip marker, a paint marker that I have, and touch it up. But I like it. I might even write rock and roll on there in the corner, like sideways going like this, rock and roll, rock and roll. 
Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing tonight. Thank you for watching. A riveter cheer, everybody. See you again soon. Back in the studio.